Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. For those of you who don't know, I moved to Dubai six months ago and I now live in a one bedroom apartment in downtown Dubai. Over the last few months, I have been very slowly and carefully choosing what I want to have in our home. Yeah, it definitely feels like it is all coming together and I really hope you enjoy the video. So I'm gonna start off with our dining area. And the first thing that I picked up was this really gorgeous black table. This is actually from Ikea. And I immediately fell in love with it because of course it was just so affordable. It's in this amazing gorgeous black, which is a statement in itself. And then it has these really stunning tapered legs. We are really, really lucky to have a really light apartment and all of the walls are white as well. So I think for me, I just knew that I wanted to have a really dark table just to give this room a bit of contrast. Moving on to our dining chairs. So I decided that I would get black chairs to go with our black table. I picked up these really lovely woven chairs. These were from Home Center and they were incredibly affordable. I believe that they were 150 dirhams each, which is around 30 pound. And that is an absolute bargain for dining chairs. And then I also picked up a contrasting chair to go on either end of the dining table. Being completely honest, I was a bit surprised when the chairs turned up because they were definitely more gray than I expected. I was picturing a beigey sort of color. However, the chairs are super comfy and I still feel like they really work with the dining table, the other chairs, and just the general space itself. They were slightly more expensive. I think they're about 200 dirhams each and that is roughly 40 pound. And then behind the dining table, there used to be this very large white wall. I just knew I wanted to jazz up the area and I think the framing really helps with separating the space. The Love Buds print is signed by Milu Neelan and she owns Hotel Magique, which is a company that creates really gorgeous homewares and interiors and really beautiful prints and posters and artwork. And all of her creations are her capturing her love of travel and all of those magical moments and souvenirs that you collect whilst you're on that journey. I really wanted to have a piece of Hotel Magic in my home. The next piece I have up is this really gorgeous black and white swirl print. It's kind of graffiti-esque. I like how minimal it is and how abstract it is, and it just really complements my home. It's funny because I really do enjoy colour, but I do find that I am also incredibly drawn to black and white artwork. And yeah, this just happened to be another piece of work that I'd seen and thought, yeah, I like you and I want to have you displayed in my home. I don't know who designed this piece of work, but I did buy it on Etsy. And then the last piece that I have within this very small curated collection is this reimagined Greek goddess print. I believe it's been inspired by the Venus de Milo ancient Greek sculpture. So I bought this piece on Etsy and the designers are based in Auckland, New Zealand. The only thing that sits on my table 24 seven is this really gorgeous orange glassware. I picked this up at Home Center. It was in their sale and it was actually in their bathroom sale because its original purpose is to be a glass bin. So I use that as a vase whenever I have flowers in, but if not, it's just a gorgeous piece in itself because of all the light that comes into the apartment it just illuminates this really gorgeous pattern all over the table and yeah I like it. Other things that make their way to the table are our black wooden placemats. These are from Dunelm which I believe is exclusive to the UK. They've been a really good purchase because they've been incredibly sturdy and I also have some really lovely little square slate coasters. They're a really nice way of injecting another texture onto the table, but still keeping it very dark and moody. And then finally in our dining area, we have this beautiful oriental inspired rug. I honestly just thought that I would never end up with one. And then I went into Ikea and I found this and I was just so made up. The quality of it is really, really good as well. It's very cushiony. It feels like a really good carpet with really good underlay. And that's perfect for me because our apartment is 100% tiled and it's just so lovely to add in that really nice, warm, cozy texture to this very city apartment. And then opposite the dining table, we have this humongous mirror, which you've definitely seen in my vlogs if you've been watching them. It was actually something I picked up secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. The purchasing of it and delivery cost me around 40 pounds which is amazing and then just next to the mirror I have this really beautiful dried burry piece and because I'm someone who does really enjoy stacking artwork on the floor I also try to balance the room by picking up things that have height and then propped up against the mirror is this really gorgeous canvas artwork which has been designed and painted in Dubai and this is by Lou Ao Art I love this so much because I love blue and having it opposite the rug just really draws out all of the blue that's within the rug and it just works really well together 
slightly from the dining area. We have this very little space which almost marks the dining area has ended and you are about to enter the lounge area. If you've watched my vlogs recently then you would know I've bought a basket and lots of wooden sticks to cover up an electric socket. But turns out I really didn't like it. I love the baskets, I love the wooden sticks but I just did not love it there. I think it just looked too obvious. It looked like it was covering something and I don't know why I didn't think to cover the sockets with artwork because that is so more me than getting a basket and wooden sticks. But uh, yeah, I think everyone who's designing their home definitely learns things along the way. And yeah, that's something that I've learned that artwork for me will always be the answer. So in terms of the prints that we have over in this section, the first one is the very large Ace of Hearts print. I don't know the history behind this or the inspiration, but again, it's a piece of work that's been reimagined from much earlier days. It was really quirky and it definitely felt like it suited the vibe that I wanted within this apartment. The next piece is actually a duplicate of the black and white abstract swirl artwork that is up by the dining table, but this time it's in a bigger frame. It's also in a white frame and it also has a white mount board. So it does look very different to the piece that is up on the wall. And you know, it's so surprising how you can really transform artwork with frames and mount boards. I really enjoyed experimenting with that. The other piece is this beautiful hand-drawn botanical black and white sketch and it's been created by an artist based in California. So all of those pieces have been purchased on Etsy as digital files and I use a company out here called Al Kamal Advertising and they are based in Sharjah. They are amazing. There are a lot of places that you can get things printed out here but for me this has definitely been the most affordable and the best quality. And then the last piece is this really lovely gold frame surround, which is from Ikea. I just really wanted to inject some gold over there. Also, talking about frames, all of my frames are purchased from Ikea. And then just inside of the frames is this really gorgeous arc light. This is something I picked up from Homebox. It has this really beautiful marble base. And then all of the hardware is actually silver, which was a first for me. And gold will always be my my metal but i have really enjoyed mixing metals since being in this apartment so yeah i decided to go for a silver hardware light and even though we are very lucky to have the space that we do because most apartments in dubai are very small i still don't want to clutter the space unnecessarily with additional lighting and this light works perfectly because it is just stood in one place you can literally just swivel the head back and forth depending on which area it is that you want to light and then moving over to our laundry cupboard, I just wanted to share something with you because it is so good for saving space. I picked up this 24 pocket sheet, which just hangs over our doors. We just pop our everyday shoes within the pockets and they are right by the front door. Really easy to grab, be perfect for a apartment with very little storage. It did actually come as one big sheet, but I just literally got a pair of scissors and cut all the way up through the middle and then hung one on each door. Also in terms of storage, something else that I picked up very recently is this very useful earring holder. It's just given me this really lovely home for all of my gold and silver earrings just to sit in and definitely makes it much easier finding the pair that I want. That's from Home Center. I also picked up a matching necklace holder. That's just home to all of my everyday necklaces. In terms of my heavier, less dainty necklaces, I actually put up one of the pull-out accessory hangers from Ikea and that's because we have Pax wardrobe. So it's just very easy to install this additional hanger. But it's such a good invention. I literally open up my wardrobe door and pull out this hanger and they're all very neatly arranged. So then moving over to the kitchen, there really hasn't been too much movement with our kitchen, but we have incorporated a few little accessories. The first thing I wanted to share is this really lovely dripping ink piece, which is something that I very quickly designed myself. And as I've mentioned, I really love stacking artwork. And sometimes you just need these very minimal pieces just to have as your big background so you can stack lovely little things in front of it. And I really did struggle to find the one. So I had an idea in my head of what it was I was looking for. And I thought, well, I might as well just make it myself because it's something I'm Made myself I thought there was no way I could link it for you guys but actually I will upload it onto a Google Drive and pop the link below along with everything else I've mentioned in this video and and yeah you can print it and have it in your home if you would like it moving over slightly just next to it we have this 30 capsule Nespresso pod holder this is something I picked up on Amazon very easy very simple does the job nice and gold love it I have this really beautiful gold white and black tile platter and on it it says Joie de Vivre which translates to exuberant enjoyment of life and I 
love that. This is from the Wren collection at Home Center. I do believe it has been inspired by the Bistro collection from Anthropology. It doesn't really serve a purpose as such. It's definitely more of an aesthetic thing. I've just always been that way with any kitchen that I've had. I just like it when things have their own little home. And then on the other side of the kitchen, I have a matching butter dish and that says Bon Appetit when you open it up. And that's just sitting upon a wooden platter from H&M, which I've mentioned in a previous video. And something else that lives on the wooden platter is the eucalyptus and mint bath and body works candle which is part of their aromatherapy range i just love having it in the kitchen because it just takes away any smells of any food um and i just pop it on whenever i finish cooking and just next door to this platter i've also got two pieces of artwork again they are there to cover up electric sockets the first one is of these sculptures that are on pedestals and it looks like they're in a museum this is by a french artist called amelie fontaine she uses pen and paper to create these really gorgeous graphic illustrations with minimal colors she has brought out lots of collections and she does have an online shop which is currently closed but these pieces i actually found on her tumblr account and my mum actually she reached out to Amelie to find out how we could compensate her for her work on her Tumblr because of course her shop is currently closed and Amelie very kindly come back and said if you were using it in your own home for personal use then more than happy for you to take the digital file and print it and enjoy it. I'm absolutely blown away by that and yeah that's what I've done. I also have another piece of Amelie's in the home but I'll show you that later. And then the piece in front is of this really beautiful little etching of a tree. This is sold on Etsy by a company called Maple and Oak Vintage and they are based in British Columbia, Canada. So I am really going all over the globe to um, get my artwork. So moving into our bedroom, we have these really gorgeous posters up on the wall, which are from H&M Home. I mentioned them in our moving apartment vlogs, but at the time I just couldn't show you what they look like. So here they are up on the wall and I'm so impressed. And they are being held up on the wall by the command transparent hooks. And they are just amazing for anyone who's in rented accommodation because when the time comes and we move from this apartment i will take them straight off the wall and there'll be no damage so moving over to the bed i have definitely upped my game in dressing the bed definitely looks more luxurious now and i really think that's down to adding a few more textures and colors into the actual bedspread first thing i want to talk about are these really beautiful deep blush velour shams and it has this really beautiful fine grey thread that has been woven in and out of the cushion cover. I picked up these shams from Anthropology, and then behind those are a pair of khaki pillow covers and I really wanted to give the colour palette a bit of depth. Without those the bed looks very feminine. I probably would have loved that five years ago but I have noticed that my interior style is definitely maturing and it just doesn't suit my style anymore and they were purchased from Habitat in the UK and then the other addition is this grey bedspread I was just looking for something to introduce a new colour and also a new texture and I picked this up in the H&M home sale and then the last new piece that has been added to our bedroom is this really gorgeous black and white hand woven rug with tassel details on the end I bought this for our dog Bonnie and it just used to make me cringe so much when she would jump off the bed and land on these very hard tiles so I picked that up so that it would definitely look after her paws and her joints a little bit more but also it's actually a really good treat for me because when I get out of bed in the morning I am not walking on cold tiles I'm greeted by this very lovely rug and interestingly this is actually described as a jewelry online rather than a rug and when I was researching what this word meant it's actually an Indian term they're different to typical rugs because they're not only used for floor coverings but they can also be used as bedspreads as well as for packaging. Moving on to our bathroom, so we've got a couple of new additions in here. The first thing I wanted to mention is this print of three fishes, and this was purchased on Etsy, and this designer is actually based in Istanbul, in Turkey. This print, I don't know why, immediately I just thought of me and my two sisters. It's so silly, but I just thought that they were all entwined, and it's almost like they looked like they had each other's back and there wasn't really much thought about it. I saw the print, I thought about me and my sisters, I loved it. I put it in my basket and I checked out. And then to the other side of the sink, I have this little illustration of some type of European building. It could be Paris, it could be Italy, I really, I don't know. If you know, then let me know. And I picked this up from H&M. And then in front of that, I have this really beautiful portrait sketch. And this is also by Maple and Oak on Etsy. And I really love this gorgeous flow of ink aesthetic. 
And then placed just next to that is the Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay candle, which was really kindly given to me by my friend Emily when she asked me to be her bridesmaid. And I've honestly never lit the candle because it's just such a beautiful memory for me. And I'm just trying to keep it as long as I can. into the last and final area of our home. I'm now gonna share with you all of our home updates for our lounge area. So I'm actually gonna start with our sofa because I know that you guys have already seen the sofa in videos, but I've never actually spoken about it. So this sofa is from a company called Royal Furniture and they are a custom furniture company in Dubai. They have a whole range of sofas, beds, headboards, ottomans, lots of different pieces of furniture. And then your choice of color is absolutely out of this world. There are literally thousands of colors to choose from. And yeah, Adam and I decided to go for this very cool, very modular sofa. You get so many cushions with this sofa um, and they are very high back, so you just feel very supported. I think this has definitely been one of our most favorite purchases. And then placed on our sofa is this statement cushion, which again is from Hotel Magique. On one side of the cushion, it says bonjour. And then on the other side, it says bonsoir, which is good morning and good evening in French. But I think what attracted me to the cushion is that it's just a very happy cushion. It's very vivid. It has this really beautiful piped edging and I just thought it would look perfect sat up on our sofa. You may have noticed that I've commented a lot on French artists and French designers throughout this video, and I really think that I do love the French because I am very heavily inspired by their culture and I really like their language. And then behind the sofa, on the wall, we have two very large sketches which were created by Luke Edward Hall, who is one of the most amazing British designers. I love all of his work. I love his personal interior style. His work just really, really excites me. And the first print is of these little spring flowers in an urn. And this is actually a digital download from House and Garden. If you didn't know already, House and Garden have this really beautiful series, which is called Things to Put in Frames. It's essentially where House and Garden have a conversation with an artist. And this artist then creates three pieces of artwork that they are happy to go onto House and Garden's website and is then available to the public to download and print at home. And this spring flower urn is one of the three pieces that Luke Edward Hall created for House and Garden and for the public. Again, I'll link everything below so that you can access that. And then once I'd found that, I really wanted to have something to really complement that. So I was on the hunt for another Luke Edward Hall print, and that is when I found this pedestal drawing. And as you guys know by now, I like just placing bits of artwork all around the apartment. And I used our very handy sofa just to add a couple more pieces to the wall. So the first piece is a duplicate of the H&M print that I have within my bathroom. But instead of being in a black frame, I popped it in a white frame and then placed in front of it is the second piece that I have from Amelie Fontaine. So then next up I want to talk about our rug. So I was looking for a rug to go into our lounge space for the longest time. I was really really struggling to find something that complemented this very statement sofa. I decided to go for this milky colour rug and it is ridiculously soft. It is very cushiony, it's nice to walk on and it's a biggie. This is 290 centimetres by 300 centimetres so it covers a very large space of the floor. I picked this up from Home Centre and it is called the Sienna rug. And then just to the side of the sofa we have this really lovely antique brass side table. This is from West Elm and it is their martini side table. This was actually X display but it was in immaculate condition. So I was able to pick this up for £40, which is unbelievable from West Elm. And then placed on top is this apple-shaped trivette. It is actually a cheese board, but I am using it as a rather large coaster. It's very decorative, but I also feel that it's very functional. Like, I really don't want to ruin the side table, so it's great for holding drinks. But I'm also very down for things being multi-purpose. It'd be great for when I do host a cheese and wine night. I can easily just grab it from there give it a clean and then yeah use it as a hosting piece and I picked this up from Anthropology. And then placed on top of the apple is these beautiful notebooks which I picked up from the bookstore in the Dubai mall. They're just very standard notebooks but I was of course drawn to them because of their very famous covers. So the first one is of the girl with a pearl earring painting and the other is the Starry Night painting by Vincent van Gogh. So now we're going to go up and look at the chandeliers that we have up on the ceiling and honestly these have transformed the room. They have made such an impact and I'm so 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 
happy with them. And they are from Next. These are the Lucy Chandelier and they are at an amazing price of £20 each. And because of their price, I didn't have to pay any import fees or any taxes when they were delivered into the UAE. They just look so wow, so elegant, so pretty. And the light comes in from our balcony and it just hits the chandeliers and it illuminates the whole room. It feels very special and it just bounces around the room like magic. Then opposite the safe, we have our TV and unit. So to start with, I want to talk about our TV, which is a Samsung Smart TV. And we've actually used the black and white abstract swirly bit of artwork as our TV screensaver. It's just a really lovely way to jazz up your lounge and to get even more artwork into your home. And then in terms of the actual TV unit, this is a very standard piece from Ikea. I can't fault the unit, you know, it's great. It's got loads of storage. It's very smooth, very sleek, and it, you know, it didn't cost a fortune. And then over to the right of the TV unit, I've got another Luke Edward Hall print. And I popped it in this really beautiful gold ornate frame, and this is from Home Center. And then in front of it, I've got the sweater weather candle from Bath and Body Works. I definitely did buy this candle because of its very beautiful deep blue glass jar that it came in. But luckily I do really love the smell of sweater weather. Just next to this, I have the very popular Hovet mirror from Ikea. Very popular with outfit bloggers because it is just such a good size mirror. It's huge, it's sturdy. Um, and because we've positioned it just next to the balcony, it really bounces off light to the rest of the apartment. And also when I'm sat on the sofa, it's just in the perfect position where I can keep an eye on Bonnie when she decides to sit outside on the sofa on the balcony. I've honestly never seen a dog love sun so much, which is great because we moved her here. <laughs> and then moving over to the other side of the TV unit, I've got a really beautiful ceramic still life print, which is my last and final piece from Maple and Oak Vintage on Etsy. Because I like it because it's so dark and moody, yet it's of something that's very fresh and living. And I really like that contrast a lot. And then in front of it, I have another gorgeous gold ornate frame. This is from Home Center. This time I have a sketch of a female face. This is designed by a London artist, Venetia Berry. And I discovered Venetia through the House and Garden Things to Put in Frame series. So this is another piece of artwork that you two can have in your home. You can just download off of their website. So again, I'll link it below. And then just in front of this is the blue bust, which you've probably been staring at this entire video. So this is my little blue bust here. This is actually something I picked up very randomly when I was doing a grocery shop here in Dubai. I love the blue. I think it's a very playful piece, very decorative and very charming. And actually within the bust, you may recognize these. These are the faux cotton plants that I bought for that basket that I mentioned I was originally planning to use to cover up some um, some sockets. And then next up is this chair that I'm sat on. This is from Home Center. You literally sink into this chair and it's the perfect place just to spend an afternoon reading a really good book, if you ever get time to do that. I know we all say we wanna do that, but you know. And then just behind me here, you might see another little piece of work. It is a vintage oil portrait print that has been dipped in black ink. It's really quirky, somewhat creepy. Uh, those eyes are just there. And then just next to it, I have this really lovely black wired magazine rack, which is from Argos in the UK. And it's just a really lovely contemporary modern piece which is perfect for holding all of my beloved Lionheart magazines. Uh, Lionheart is a independent lifestyle publication which is made in Bristol in the UK. It's very close to my hometown back in England. I really love the magazines. They are very beautifully written. They all have their own theme and uh, I get a lot of inspiration from these magazines. Then also on this chair is this beautiful leopard print cushion. This is from Home Center and it was a nice way to welcome a new print into the lounge area because we were actually lacking a bit of print in here. So, okay, we are done. That is all of my home updates. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you think. I would love to know. So this is my first ever sat down video just chatting to the camera. So let me know what you think about this as well because typically I do vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.